for the bedrooms. Uh, it comes in two different configurations. Um, if you try to use power in a bedroom or if you come into a bedroom and the light switch is in operation, uh, inoperable and you don't have any uh, power in that bedroom, it's likely the arc fault. And it's similar to a, to a GFCI in a bathroom or a kitchen um, or a garage in particular, but um, the arc faults are there to protect you from a dog chewing through a cord, a lamp falling over and causing a short. They're just a little bit different than a GFCI. So one of the first places you want to look for an arc fault is in your breaker panel. And you want to look for a bedroom uh, breaker. You got bedrooms, um, bedrooms 14 and, and 12. And you can see these are very typical looking breakers and they match all the others. There's no resets on them. So this is not a arc fault breaker, but what you've got are arc fault uh, AFCIs in the bedrooms. And so in, the, in one of the affected bedrooms, what you want to do is go look behind the bedroom door. And what you'll find is something that looks very similar to a GFCI. You can see it actually says AFCI. And you just simply want to push the test button um, and then hit the reset. Uh, it does take a little bit of force to do it, um, but you don't want to do it with anything sharp, and that should get the power going in the bedroom uh, once again. Uh, you may want to ask yourself if it's reoccurring, what exactly is in these bedrooms that is affecting that circuit and causing it to trip?